How do you know you're looking at a translation? Parlez-vous français means do you speak French? Okay, Mona, but what's that got to do with math? In this lesson, you will learn what a translation is by looking at what happens to a figure's line segments and angles before and after it's been translated. Believe it or not, there is a connection between translations as we know them in language to what we will learn about them as they pertain to geometry. In language, a translation is an exact replica of words spoken, like the way bonjour means hello. While in geometry, it's an exact replica of a figure, like the way the rectangle on the left slid across the screen to the right. A translation is a kind of transformation. In geometry, there are four ways to transform a shape. Translating is one such way. The rectangle you're about to see is going to be translated or slid to the right and upward. When you hear the word translate, think slide. However, not all figures having the same size and shape have been translated. In both representations below, the rectangle has not been translated properly. On the left, the blue, yellow, black, and green segments are reversed in some way. On the right, the rectangle has been completely turned. When you translate or slide a figure, every segment and every angle are an exact replica of the original. The original rectangle is called the pre-image, and all of the translated points are called A prime, B prime, C prime, and so on. This rectangle begins as a pre-image, rectangle A, B, C, D. Once translated to the right and upward, it is a new image of a rectangle with points A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. When you translate, you are creating an exact replica of the pre-image. When translating this rectangle, an exact replica is created with parallel sides taken to parallel sides and angles to angles. Notice that segment AD is the same size and same shape as segment prime AD. Angle ABC is the exact same size made up of the exact same segments as prime angle ABC. In geometry, when the pre-image and the image have the same size and shape, it's called a rigid transformation. Notice how the blue segment is taken to the blue segment, the green to the green, and so on. The translated segments are only in a new location, but have not changed their size or shape. Notice how the segments remain the same distance apart and the angles within the figure retain their same measurement. Additionally, parallel segments within the pre-image remain parallel to one another in the translated image. So segment AD is parallel to segment BC in the pre-image, and nothing changes in the translated image. Prime AD is still parallel to prime BC. In this lesson, you have learned about translations by observing what happens to a figure's line segments and angles.